Number 21, Furman Paladins took on the East Tennessee State Buccaneers Thursday night in Stone Soccer Stadium. The Furman fans showed out in force for the game. This game was intense as ETSU looked to snap a three-game losing streak. And Furman looked to win their fourth game in a row. In the first half, the Paladins had the run of the chances. But ETSU was able to hit the Paladins on a break and score a goal in the last minute of the first half. In the second half, the Paladins lay siege to the East Tennessee State goal as they look for a strike to tie the game. This came in the 89th minute when Doug Ryan collected the ball and brought it up to midfield. Ryan struck it into the box and found the head of Tyler Peoples, who finished it into the back of the net. For Peoples, this is his fourth goal of the season and his fourth goal in three games. With this goal, an ecstatic Tyler Peoples ran over to the fans and jumped into the stadium. After the game, the players all commented on how the Furman fans' fervor kept this game alive. With the game tied one all, we were headed into OT. In the first minute of the overtime period, Doug Ryan came up with a big save off an of ETSU corner. And in the last few seconds, Tyler Peoples almost grabbed the Paladins another goal. Four, three, two. The fans' fervor helped power the team into the second overtime period. The best chance for either side in the overtime periods was Adrian McGinnis's 25-yard shot that rattled the ETSU crossbar. And the game ended one all. The Paladins' record against ETSU is 1-0 and 2. ETSU is a strong side that is unbeaten in its last five games against ranked opponents. Furman closes its non-conference schedule at 7-1-2. It is unbeaten in its last seven matches. The Paladins return to action at home on Tuesday at 7 p.m. against the College of Charleston Cougars. This game marks the beginning of Southern Conference play. And the team sincerely hopes that the fans come out again, loud, proud, and ready for an exciting game. Let's go, let's go, let's go.